All right. So I'd like to show off my latest questionably useful 3D print creation here. As you might be able to guess, it is indeed a 3D printed tape measure. Now, like with my 3D printed dial calipers, this tape measure was printed already assembled exactly like you see it here. There was no gluing or snapping parts together. The tape was not printed outside the body. No, it was printed exactly like this. Um, so for some simple comparisons, it's about the same size as a normal tape measure. It has a tape. The tape is labeled every inch and has graduations down to an eighth inch. It has a locking feature for the tape. It has a belt clip. And it has a crank to the tape back in. The tape itself is made up of over a hundred of these half inch links. All told, there are 114 parts in this tape measure. Now, as some of you might be calculating right now, there are over 50 inches of tape in this tape measure. You can actually pull out 52 inches, which is a usable four feet. Now, given the limitations of 3D printing something like that, of like this, you can't fit that much tape in something this size. While designing it, I figured that unless I could fit about three to three and a half feet of tape in this, it wouldn't be worth doing. I didn't want to print a tape measure that just had a foot or two of tape in it. I just thought that would be lame. For accuracy, it's actually not that bad. Over the full length of the tape, it's only off by about a sixteenth of an inch. And that's less to do with the fact that the entire thing was 3D printed and more to do with the fact that the tape itself is made up of over a hundred of these links. Now each of these links has a little bit of slop and over the full length of the tape they can easily amount to half an inch of error or more. So each, length's, each link is undersized a little bit to account for that error, but even then it, this is printed out of plastic um, as you wear these joints um, they'll loosen up a little bit and your accuracy will vary. What it comes down to is that this is more of a technology demonstrator than a functional tool. So there are some of the technical details. I'd like to touch a little bit about why I did this because that's the question I get asked most often after people get done asking, about, asking me about how I did this. I don't have a great answer as to why other than I think this is cool. I think it's cool that you can design a full up assembly of parts on the computer, send it to a printer which will then make it for you already assembled and leave you with a finished device that is more than just well, one piece interestingly shaped part. Now, don't get me wrong here, there's a lot of issues with 3D printing, a lot of limitations, but on a fundamental level, the ability to print assemblies is here today. And I think that's pretty cool. And that's the only reason I have for doing this. So anyway, enough of that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right.